Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Jeff, Drones Over Daytona. Uh, this morning I'm flying a little close to home again. Uh, today is the day of the Daytona 500 race, so there's a lot of extra traffic and a lot of extra people in town, and there is also a group of six F-16 Falcons, uh, which is the, uh, the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds. Uh, they do a flyover of the Speedway, uh, they're pretty low in that area. They've been buzzing around all week uh, practicing, um, making a lot, of, a lot of noise. You can hear them. Uh, I've caught little glimpses of them here and there. Uh, they're fun to watch. I don't think they're anywhere near affecting a, a local drone flight, but uh, I haven't, didn't have any kind of alert in my uh, air map app or anything today. So, uh, but I also had uh, a bit of a hiccup. Uh, I broke my phone earlier in the week and now with DJI and uh, the government's, uh, the FAA and their remote ID program, uh, I have to have a phone connected whenever I fly. So uh, that's kind of annoying. Um, I've kind of got a makeshift solution at home. I have my iPad, which is not uh, got data. So I'm just on my Wi-Fi network here. I can sit in my backyard and uh, buzz around the area. Um, connected that way, but I can't go anywhere and fly right now until I get my new phone. So uh, that's hopefully in the next few days we'll get get back up and running with that. Um, continuing to fly with the uh, Avada and the uh, motion controller, having a lot of fun with that. Um, I'm I haven't had much time this week to practice in the the simulator. I made some progress with it last week. Uh, I was able to stay up in the air for a, a couple of minutes and uh, buzz around, but I still bump into things. I get uh, tipped over. I get careening left and right, uh, <laughs> making all kind of crazy moves. So I'm, I'm nowhere near being able to put it in manual mode yet. So for the moment, I'm sticking with the motion controller and I'm, uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it, uh, combining that with the, uh, the head tracking and the goggles. And I'm, I'm getting some, some really cool looks that I, I am enjoying a lot. Uh, I'm not a, a big FPV guy. Um, I'm coming from the world of uh, the cinematic drone shots. Uh, people who fly the FPV drones, they're, you know, the Avada is not really, I think, for them. Uh, they're, they're more into the custom-built stuff and... Uh, doing things that are faster and more maneuverable. But uh, this is, to me, this is a great introduction to FPV. Uh, I think starting out with the motion controller is a is a great tool to get people into it and, and starting out. And then uh, later you graduate to, to full manual. Um, I'm still real intimidated by the idea of having to put it everywhere myself. And um, But I, I love having the, the brake button if you get in trouble and you can... You can just uh, slam it into normal mode and uh, it'll just stop and hover, which a lot of the, the build-yourself drones don't have. So uh, it's it's definitely a great tool for learning the, the hobby. Um, so, yeah, I just flew around the, the neighborhood this morning at sunrise. Uh, got some, some shots in the backyard, tried a few things. Uh, I did bump the, the wall of the house at one point and uh, – knocked to the ground, uh, but it, it just popped right back up and kept going. So it's a, it's a tough little bird. I could never uh, do that with my Air 2S and putting it in a, a few places that uh, I, I wouldn't fly a, a larger drone with exposed props. So uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, it's still, still learning. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting out places and uh, doing some more uh, buzzing around. I, I need to get down to the beach and uh, try that out. Um, um, got to be be careful. I'm still learning uh, where I can put it and where I can't. And uh, I think it it fits through some really tight spots. It's it's a very small little bird, so it uh, it does really well. Um, just always have to be careful uh, around water, not to misjudge the height, and it's easy to dip. So uh, I don't want to get too close to the water in a place I can't get it back. Uh, I do have insurance on it, but I, I always want to make sure I can I can get it back if I put it somewhere. Uh, so I, I don't really take it in, in risky places where I wouldn't be able to recover it if it went if I bumped something and, and it went down. Uh, when I bumped the wall today, it did land on the ground and, and said it had an alert for uh, uh, impact and it wouldn't take off again. I had to pick it up and turn it off and turn it back on. Uh, but then it, it 
function normally after that. So uh, I'm a bit worried if I was to bump it somewhere and, and even if it did land, uh, I wouldn't be able to take off again. So uh, I'm always real careful of uh, not going into places I can't recover it from. But uh, it's, it's been great. It's, it's still my favorite drone to fly right now. Um, I can't get near the, the cinematic photo shots that I get from the Air 2S, so each one has its own specific uses. But the Avada is just uh, so much fun to fly, even you know, just around the, the backyard. I love being able to pop it up and uh, put it through some of the, the little course I've got set in the yard here. Uh, the house next door to me has been empty. I uh, just sold a few days ago, so uh, it's going to be having a new owner pretty soon, and I won't be able to zip through their backyard anymore. But uh, <laughs> it's for right now, uh, nobody's there, so I'm... I've got a little more space to move around them, but I'm I'm going to have to find a, a new spot to go out and kind of practice in soon. Uh, but yeah, I love being able to just practice and uh, get get better with this thing and I'm more confident with it. Um, I still find like just a, a few loops and you know zipping around every morning to kind of get warmed up is uh, needed, and then uh, I can fit through some some pretty tight gaps once I get comfortable with it and, and feeling good. So. Yep, that's my experience with it uh, this week. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate you stopping by the channel. If you like and subscribe, I'll uh, get some uh, motivation to continue doing some new stuff. Hoping to get out around the Daytona area and get some uh, some new shots with the Avada uh, and some different places and see how that looks. So thanks for following me. I'll uh, check in with you later.